Rock beer, uh, not one of the most popular styles in the world, but those who love it, love it. Those who hate it, are it. wrong. So we don't only brew IPAs around here, we also brew weird styles. Not that weird. Uh, Rauch beer. That's what all the cool kids are drinking these days, right? Maybe I'm weird, I don't know, but I, this is one of my favorite beer styles, it really is. Rauch beer is a smoked beer style. It literally means smoked beer in German. Ben puts up with me wanting to brew this every single year. I know Ben likes it too, but uh, I, I think I'm probably a little strange in my love for this beer. When it comes to Rauch beer, probably like the definitive brewery of it is Schlenkerla. Oh man, that's smoky. <laughs> so this is a style that isn't very easy to come by commercially. Uh, you do kind of have to pay a little bit of a, the old import specialty fee just to get yourself a nice pint of Rauch beer. This particular beer, their Merzen, gives you a lot of that smoke flavor without becoming overly bacony. Um, it's probably because they smoke their own malt and yeah, I could definitely drink quite a bit of this. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh boy! What we're attempting to do is sort of a smoked fest beer. This is the fourth time we've brewed it. Uh, we're now going with about 40% smoked malt, uh, cherry wood smoked malt. I believe this classic version of it is 100% smoked malt. Um, we're leaving ours to the cherry wood smoke gods <laughs> and hopefully they smile upon us. When we were crushing the grain, it smelled amazing and, and mashing in smelled amazing. I'm really looking forward to tasting the gravity sample off this one. It was kind of a, a rainy, drizzly day. I guess we had set up the night before with enough space uh, that smart that guys were at it. Yeah. <laughs> One other thing about this kind of beer that I like a lot is that, to me, it's very grounded. I mean, how long have they been doing it? Like, did you say the, the 1400s? Yeah, it's from the, like, the 1400s. That appeals to me. There's something that's, I guess, timeless to an extent. Um, and then there's also, you know, it's inevitable there's going to be a comparison of being around a bonfire um, with this and cool weather, things like that. And that's always been one of my favorite things to really do is just kind of, you know, enjoy friends and family, enjoy your company, sit around, have beer, relax, breathe in life a little bit, you know, so. One of the best things about living in Knoxville is just how insanely gorgeous it is here in the fall. We were just talking about trying to do something that was inherently local and also paid homage to like the you know the Smoky Mountains and the Tennessee Falls. So we wanted to make Smoky Mountains, we can do a smoke beer and kind of make it more of an orange hue to honor the uh, super competitive um, Tennessee volunteers who are objectively horrible every single year. <laughs> no, I feel like it's it shaped me as a person. I feel like I'm a an individual who handles adversity better being a Vols fan. I was looking at our uh, old Instagram post the last time we brewed the Rocky Top Route, 
and we brewed it on a day that UT was playing, and they lost horribly. horribly. <laughs> and um, it probably had a lot to do with me also becoming a Tottenham fan later on in life. I can't go with like a, a diehard stone cold winner all the time. So when we brewed the Tottenham beer, Tottenham lost, and you got so upset I had to finish the brew by myself because somebody was indisposed. I mean, I gotta go with the guy that's gonna gonna give you some peaks and valleys in your fandom and your emotions and ruin some weekends for you, but when they win, oh, it's that much sweeter. Go Vols! <laughs> the night before filming this, <laughs> they lost again. That was... Yeah. That was typical. Whenever we try to brew something uh, in honor of a, a sports team, they inevitably crash and burn. The fight song for the Tennessee Vols is Rocky Top. Wish that I was on a Rocky Top down in the Tennessee Hills. So we went with Rocky Top because we we're clever. Anyway, now to play my favorite song of all time, the 1997 remix of Rocky Top, the club mix. Good old Rocky Top. Woo! Rocky Top, Tennessee. To our international viewers, we're talking about American football, college football, uh, but we will be getting into some classic football later today, watching the Champions League. And I believe this might have been the last time that we had a calm, collected, easy brew day. Uh, Derek Sverg stayed in his stroller. Him and Owen were pretty much in the garage the whole day, yeah. being good. Owen always is, but yeah. that was probably the last day that Seth was good, period. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not just from brew days. Nowadays, he just uh, runs around and it's like a constant struggle to keep him from getting in trouble and hurting himself. Yeah, it's kind of gotten to that. It's, a, it's kind of stressful. It's actually. toddlerhood, man. It's just like, you can't sit down. Like, it's just exhausting mentally. We're, we're going to have to send him and Olivia somewhere else <laughs> <laughs> when we're brewing just on the brew day. Yeah, I don't know. What if we put him in a stew pot? <laughs> no! Bad daddy! He, he's my worst dad, but he, he goes after me. He's trying to... He keeps calling the policemen to capture me. But uh, on that day, we also enjoyed some of the rest of the world's football. Yeah. Champions League. I had to overcome my hatred of FC Bayern München uh, and I still rooted for them. No balls! I am confused! Approximately orange color. These glasses, pretentious glassware, made right down the road, so 
Yeah. Knoxville. Cool, hey. cool, uh, cool glassware, cool brewery. Yeah. Aroma-wise, just that cherry wood smoke. Oh, man. We, we had a conversation recently off camera about our favorite beers that we've made so far this year. This one was easily in my top five. It's mellowed. It, so when you're you bring it on up, you get that intense cherry wood smoke flavor. Um, and then that's the first thing that obviously hits your palate, but it's also very nuanced to the sense that there's, it's kind of like the Saison's we did, where it's the simple and like had we screwed up something that it was defining about it, then inherently it would just be awful. But this is, it tastes like a nice, like well-balanced beer. It's not overwhelmingly smoky, which I think is what most people don't like about rock beer. Our sort of extended aging slash lagering of it um, has really allowed all the flavors to meld together. Yeah. Yeah. Smooth, smoky. Um, it kind of lingers on the palate, but in a pleasant way. There's no no bacony flavors, no ashtray flavors. You know, this is only using 40% smoke malt. I'd like to try 100% smoke malt beer. Why well, stop there? Let's just get a big old 55 pound bag of smoked malt then. And just. You know nothing, I thought about it. Nothing but Rauk beer. This is now the Rauk beer channel. It is now. There's so much room in this style, as narrow as the style is to some degree, to where we can deviate with the malt profile. Yeah, I mean, you can basically take any German style of beer and add smoke malt yeah. to it, and it'll be a rock beer in that style. I yeah. Think. I do think that'd be fun to play around with. Yeah, agreed. Leave your opinions on rock beer in the comments below if you've got any favorite recipes, styles. Um, if you don't like rock beers, then you can get out! <laughs> no, no, please stick around. Or don't, yeah. actually. If you don't like rock beer, you're an enemy of the state. Go Vols. <laughs> so to uh, to close things out, I would like to make a um, a prost. Is that how you would say that? No. I would like to make a toast um, to years of continued mediocrity and disappointment. Go Vols. Prost. So, uh, yeah, like and subscribe for more Grand Glass videos. Follow me on Instagram for, <laughs> for some more up-to-date uh, progress of our beers. Uh, yeah, see you around for the next one. As soon as you, as soon as you swallow it. <laughs> What's so funny, Chad? As soon as it. Listen to Vin Diesel. <laughs>